Okay, now we're going to look at the points of view database. This database can be found under find articles and then under all SCC databases. Um, you can look for it here in this drop down menu in alphabetical order, so it'll be down here at points of view. You can also scroll down towards the very bottom here and you will see that the icon for points of view is right here. Um, this database is designed to um, provide easily searchable information on a variety of controversial topics, um, really topics that have clear sides to them. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the icon. Um, you can see that these larger categories immediately come up. Um, you can also search here in the search box if you already know your topic. Um, my preference is actually to go to view all topics, especially when I'm looking for a topic or if I have a large topic in mind and I need to go ahead and narrow my topic. Um, so you can see as we scroll down that there are many topics to choose from here and again things that you might not have thought about when you were originally um, assigned a larger topic say something having to do with women's issues or with environmental issues that kind of thing um, so scrolling down you can see there's health classes bank bailouts renewable energy salary caps, school uniforms, just really a wide spectrum of different topics that you could work with. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose underage drinking. <coughs> okay, so when we get to the underage drinking heading in points of view, um, we get all of these tabs and these are actually my favorite part of this database. I think that these are a really great way to organize information and make it easier for you to select out what you need for your research. Um, here are the points of view articles themselves. They're really more um, book chapters from actual points of view books. Um, another publisher calls these books uh, taking sides, but really if you wanted to, um, the way you use them I, I think is more like a book chapter. Um, you can see though that they get started with alcohol abuse and youth and overview and then they start with these points counterpoint um, treatments of substance abuse dealing with dangerous drugs and trying to argue both sides of the issue now some instructors prefer that you do not use points of view or taking sides because a lot of the information is taken from a larger document so uh, an excerpt of somebody's larger document and oftentimes in college level research you want to be looking at the entire source not just a piece that somebody has pulled out and chosen for you to read so this is kind of like readers digest of research but it is very helpful for getting a good idea about your topic and if we go ahead and clip click on the the overview I think this is a great place to get ideas for how to set up your outline and then also how to get ideas for keywords when you go and search the more complicated databases like ProQuest and EBSCOhost. So you can see we've got understanding the discussion, history, um, ab alcohol abuse and youth today and this can help you get some ideas about different things you want to write on. So for example maybe here you'll see that um, prevention and treatment it says two categories of dealing with adolescent alcohol abuse. Um, so that might be in a, a, that might take you in a different direction with your research. Um, if we go back to our results list, you will also see that under these tabs we can move on and there are newspaper articles, chapters from other books, um, images, radio and TV and news transcripts, and on, then also periodicals and under here is where you're going to find your news magazines we've got US News and World Report, um, Time Magazine and you can click on these and find a full text article of a news magazine as well. <laughs>